But another thing that I'm seeing with these short poses is that you're magnifying the curve too much from left to right. And so it's making them look very stout, right? So, so the idea is right, but you need to sort of control it a little bit. Do you see what I'm, especially when, when they're drawn small, do you see? You have to control the, uh, the magnitude a little more. This one's a little better. So, so we want to get the gesture, obviously, and we want to get these overlaps, but we don't want things to get, uh, we don't want the forms to get too large. So th that's a kind of a sensitivity thing. Just really pay attention to like how wide is everything basically is what I'm saying. So if you do a knee like this, that's too large to actually fit the knee into. So you have to be more conscious and more careful when you get into uh, tight, tight places. Do you see what I'm, see what I'm doing here? So I think the tendency is to kind of whip it around too much, like ka 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 ka. That's too much. But look, it's more like this. It's more like nature. You see, it's like a river. And and things can turn. But it's not. Although it seems like it, it's not. <clears throat> Do you see that the difference? So just think of the flows. So we've got the head. And then I'm just thinking of like, if this was water, like imagine like in a shower, the water drips off of the body and just think of, well, what would that path be? A little bit more like that, a little more fluid. You see? And then when it's all tangled up and stuff, it gets more complex and you gotta be more careful. A little more like that. Here's what I would do with the gesture on this one. Cause I, I love, look, I love this and this. I'm going to, you can think of these as arrows. It can help. I love this part, right? But then what happens is it just has nowhere to go. It hits a wall here. So I've got this, right? And my movements that I, that I'm seeing my flows are doing this. So first I decide what I want the flow to do or what I'm seeing or what I'm picking up on. And if I know it's got to get over here somehow, then I look for an excuse to accomplish that. What would give me the idea that this is sort of then connecting to this? I look, I have to look for opportunities. I have to look for something that helps me with that. One thing is the external oblique is coming up and, and connecting to the back of the rib cage here. So maybe I would use some of that part of the external oblique to help me get across, right? Maybe the light's coming down like this, right? And so maybe the light is giving me a, a shadow here. Um, if I, I could invent light even, I could invent light so that uh, I get some of this movement here. If I put the light like this, I could do it with light, right? Um, as you, as you go more advanced with Vilpu's classes, he talks about this as, as a compositional thing. Cause at the end of the day, the way he thinks about gesture is compositional. It's a tool to move the eye. So what you're basically looking for is anatomy or something with the form or even something you can invent to try to make the movement do what you want. But if I want to get from here to here, it could be the way that I'm handling this compression. So this compression can maybe sort of suggest that it's pointing that way. So instead of just doing it like this, maybe that compression is sort of lifting and then maybe the separation of the gluteus maximus to gluteus medius picks it up. It's a design game. It's actually really there in the figure. Um, and, and I'm looking for it from experience too. So it's not totally abstract. It's really there in the figure, but finding out how to show it is often a creative design kind of a thing. But this, this, just, this is working so beautifully. If we could get this up to connect to the spine, it would be nice, but it's not purely abstract. That's also coming from experience of the anatomy. It's not one way to, to get the movement to work. It's many, many ways to get it to work in harmony. And if you look at the Renaissance and the Baroque masters, they were, they were so good at this. You know what I mean?